it's a very nice start to the week. It's Monday and this is just before any of the works, any of the renovations are beginning. Uh, you may know that I'm starting a cafe here, serving Singaporean style food. Not entirely Singaporean, Singaporean because I don't have all the ingredients, but I'm Singaporean, I'll be serving satay. Uh, pork skewers and also vegetable skewers for those of you who are vegetarian and uh, they'll be done here in this thing that's that, that does not look like a kitchen just yet there will be windows, there'll be piping all that's coming in uh, this video and uh, a septic tank is coming today right behind there it's going to be a large septic, septic tank so you're going to see how that, how that works and uh, this is delayed, quite delayed because uh, we were applying for a subsidy a subsidy from the Tokyo government uh, the central government and uh, they took five weeks to approve our quotations far longer than we expected so everything has been delayed there are updates to parts of the renovation we didn't manage to get everything in uh, so we do need to have a crowdfunding thing very soon to raise funds for uh, what's, uh, what we lack uh, money you pay for uh, so that's just a bit uh, I'll talk about that later but now you may not know how, how the whole place is configured uh, where the kitchen is in relation with the main building, with the, the extension. So I'm going to get the drone up right now. And since the drone is up, I'll give you a quick uh, rundown of where we are. So a quick turn around first, don't get dizzy. We're now flying up and oops, that's a bit too much. Let me come back. Okay. And you can see that uh, there's a very shiny roof that belongs to the kitchen. Uh, I'll just fly over so you can really see it. That's the kitchen and the toilet, of course. There will be a flushing toilet very soon. That's the main house. Uh, the very traditional main house built 120 years ago. There's another house here that's over 100 years old but with a slightly more uh, normal roof. That's a building that a friend is going to buy uh, later this July and uh, we're going to convert it, com convert it into a guest house so people staying in a guest house can enjoy stuff from the cafe and uh, experiences that are run. There will be tours coming on uh, later on in the year. But right now we are flying, uh, let me come down a bit more, to the garden. So that's the edible garden where I have some vegetables. You can see the potatoes really growing quite well. Uh, the neighbours are also growing potatoes so you can see on the right some potatoes there but that's the lower sitting area. So if you watch the compost bin video, you can see there are two squares there. That's the compost bins. They're doing pretty well. And the parking lot is very large. So we are next to a forest and no one, no one comes to this end, end part of the road. So if anyone comes here, you can park your car. Uh, like 10, 15 cars can park quite easily here. Uh, motorbikes also can come. And there are lots of motorbikers coming on the weekend. So um, you can park there. Uh, in the future, we will be using parts of this area. Uh, you can see it, one more house there with a very badly damaged roof. That's a house that, that's been abandoned for at least 30, 40 years. And uh, no one's living there. Can't be repaired, it's way too far off. But you can see the area there. Uh, it's another paddy field, uh, what, what used to be a paddy field. And I hope to populate this with flowers in the future. So there'll be benches there, people can enjoy. Uh, skewers, the barbecue skewers that I uh, make at the kitchen. So that's the quick rundown. If I go up even further, you can see probably the whole configuration here. Uh, we are flying over the, the hanare, the extension, where people can sit to enjoy food indoors. And again, if I fly over here, uh, that's the main house that uh, I now live in and people can sit there, uh, outdoors there. So yeah, that's uh, how Ryunohara looks like from the sky.
come to the lower sitting area. Uh, this will be where people can sit down to enjoy food on a sofa, a thing around there. Uh, Yasu, my business partner, is going to help me with uh, making benches here. Uh, we're going to make uh, uh, two tables that we can that has benches also that people can sit on. And when we get more money in the future, we can move the outdoor benches that are in here outside uh, as outdoor benches, and inside we'll install a nice long table that will be in the future. But now though. Uh, I've put in the, the shoji screens that were left over, fitted, tried to fit all of them and uh, some of the shoji screens fit so that's how it will look like, we'll have to repaper everything, make it new again uh, and this will be hung up of course uh, just wanted to see how everything fit together so I have to say that it's a pretty nice space um, once we repaper everything it will look, uh, it'll look pretty nice so uh, there will be lots of wiping down of stuff next week uh, painting of stuff uh, Nori-san, the carpenter, is going to help with the flooring. We're going to put all um, wooden flooring here that you can step on. Uh, it'll be trees from the local area. Uh, so there's a lot of work coming in for this building. I'm quite excited. And this is just the very first phase. So yeah, IKEA lights. On the exterior, not so good news. We can no longer afford to repair this properly. There was a, a proposal from us to repair the roof by putting on a second layer of tin that would have cost us $150,000 originally, but because of the war in Ukraine and other logistical problems all around the world, zinc has gone up three times since November, uh, November 2021. So we can no longer afford to pay well over 200 US, uh, well over 200,000 US dollars to repair the roof, uh, like to repair the whole roof, like to remove all the cedar bark and the zinc currently then putting on a new layer would have cost well over 350,000 US dollars so we, we didn't want to do that we just wanted one layer but even then now we can't afford it so Yasu will be coming next week to apart from making furniture to help me repair the roof we'll be patching up holes and also uh, putting on some new new sheets of zinc just a few sheets to stem the, the, the leaking over here and over there so that'll be in the next video which brings, brings us to also the issue of cost. Uh, I'm going to start a crowdfunding campaign because I need help to afford some of these things. Costs have gone up since we put in a proposal last year and uh, sub-Steve people will not give us additional funding to cover the increased cost. So I'll talk about a crowdfunding thing next week. Uh, I am preparing rewards so I need some time but like to give out after you crowd you help us with the crowdfunding. So enjoy the construction first. Crowdfunding comes next week. Good news! You're here! They're coming in and out. They're really cute. Just they're making a little buzzing sound. But Japanese bees are very tame. They don't attack you, especially on sunny days. So I wouldn't approach them like this and uh, maybe touch the box on a rainy day. I'd say that on a sunny day, they're happy and everything's fine. So you can see all the worker bees swarming in and out. They're making a very... A lot of bees are around here. I can hear them buzzing everywhere. And I have to secure this somehow now. So uh, this, this box did fall off um, over there uh, several weeks ago. I think a monkey came to topple it. So I put two stones on top now. 
and uh, I think it's, uh, it's quite stable but I gotta figure a way out to stabilize this further because as the bees start to build their hive I've gotta check and see how is everything and start to add in more boxes so I need to lift two boxes up put one more box down here when the hive starts to descend even further I'll need to lift it up even, even more so uh, up to four or five boxes will be in one pile and uh, that's how, how the pile boxes work so I, uh, I gotta see how to how to tie this down so that's for another day but it's fantastic news it's the first ever beehive ever uh, seven beehives one of them this year got populated so uh, hopefully there'll be more next year Okay, it's now Friday. I last saw you here on Monday and things have changed. Now we have a septic tank. Uh, finally, after 120 years, this house has a pro is going to have a proper flushing toilet. It'll be in next week, hopefully. Uh, the drainage will be done next week. The water water uh, supply should be done next week also. And uh, if Nori's on the carpenter has time next week, uh, he's on another project repairing roofs because it's uh, the weather's holding up for roof repairs. So he's gonna do that and then he's gonna lay a concrete floor uh, and make windows for this kitchen right here. So that's next week and Yasu is also coming to repair the roof of the lower building, the place, the sitting area. So I'm, uh, I have to work on that, plus measurements for the benches, the tables, uh, lots of things to do, um, plus what else? Uh, the crowdfunding campaign so I gotta talk about it next week I do have nice things lined up for people who contribute to the campaign uh, lots of tea that I've personally made, made and I have to say that this year's tea is pretty good so not to praise myself but it's pretty good so I'm quite excited to share more information about that and I'll be very busy uh, so uh, it's been a good week hope to see you next week uh, goodbye for now <laughs>